This is Cameron Chai from Azom.com, and I'm speaking to Joe Wolfgang from Malvern Instruments, and he's going to take us for a tour of the Master Sizer 2000 Particle Size Analyzer. Thanks, Cameron. This is the Malvern Master Sizer 2000, our uh, famous laser diffraction particle size analyzer. This instrument uses what's known as laser diffraction or low angle light scattering or mist scattering to measure particle size distributions. The Master Sizer 2000 can measure from 20 nanometers or 0.02 microns up to 2000 microns or 2 millimeters. It does this through a combination of a red laser and also a blue laser, two different wavelengths of light, which are used to uh, create this large particle size range. We also use a combination of forward angle detection and a series of side angle and side scatter detectors, which also allow us to measure such a large particle size distribution with one single instrument, no change of optics required, no user uh, expectations as far as a uh, ex um, anticipated particle size range. The instrument will give you the results as long as it's in that range. We also have a range of particle dispersers. This is a Scirocco, which is used for dry powders uh, of any type. The unit is uh, completely automated. You would open the cover, place your sample in this tray. This is our standard tray. We have other configurations available for applications such as pharmaceutical industry, where you only have a very small amount of powder to work with. What's important is once your sample is placed in the tray, this cover is closed and locked, so the operator is uh, is, is kept uh, safe from any possible toxic or active pharmaceutical ingredients that you might be working with. The sample then mixes with compressed air, which the operator would uh, select the appropriate air pressure to disperse the powder, and it travels through the laser beam where we measure the particle size distribution. We also have several different wet modules available. This is the Hydro S, probably our most popular unit. In this case, Either the particles are placed in a, a liquid to create a suspension, which is then measured, or if the sample is initially a suspension or slurry, we would add that to a, a clear base liquid. It could be water, organic solvents, etc. We have a range of solvent resistant materials that can be added for more aggressive solvents. And once again, a uh, suspension is, is uh, pumped, stirred, and pumped through a measuring zone here to the instrument and circulated back again for continuous measurement. Uh, it's very easy to change from one module to the other. The disperser unit itself stays on the bench and a cassette mechanism, which is here, is simply removed from the bench and exchanged for the wet or the dry, depends on which you're measuring. It's all very easy to use, uh, very rugged, reliable system. Um, going over to the computer, typically the results are displayed as a particle size distribution. Here you can see the range of the instrument from the nanometer range up to 2,000 microns. Uh, in this case, a, one of our Duke standard type materials being measured with a very narrow distribution. And we typically provide a, uh, a volume distribution. We can also provide number distributions. Very, very easy to export the data instantly into a program like Excel, for example, for calculations uh, in a different software program. The uh, software is uh, called FDA Part 11 compliant, which is typically required in the pharmaceutical industry. And we also offer free software upgrades over the internet, so it's very easy to keep current with the latest software that Malvern offers for the Master Size of 2000. All right, Joe, the, the two, the two Particle feed systems come standard with the system, the dry feed and the wet feed systems? Uh, it's an option, it's a modular system, so you can buy what you need when you need it. You could buy the instrument initially as wet only, add the dry module at a later date, vice versa, or buy the instrument with both modules. And we have um, five different wet modules based on uh, the amount of sample you need to measure and also uh, uh, some other considerations. So we've got some special units that are tailored for uh, your application. We've got a special dry powder unit also now for cement applications because they have a little different requirement as well. And what other sort of applications are you typically selling this uh, instrument for? Probably the most common application is the pharmaceutical industry, but also industries like food, cement, paint, coatings, um, chemical industry, catalyst industry, basically anybody who's producing particles from the nanometer range to the millimeter range. All right, Joe, thanks for the tour of the Master Sizer 2000. Thanks, Cameron.